So you may be wondering, why does stuff look a little different? That's because we played through a lot of this game already. And then we, the recording screwed up. So we have to redo it. <laughs> yeah, technical difficulties. Yeah. I don't, okay. So what happened for some reason is that, uh, the freaking, after some random point, the, the, the footage just disappears. And before then, after some point, the audio disappeared. We did. We got a lot of stuff though, but basically, uh, from this point, is where is where we got to redo it. Fortunately, uh, we obviously did the puzzle, so we know what stuff is. So we're just, when we come to a puzzle, we'll just be like, "All right, this is what the puzzle is." Bam, 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 done. For example, for this one, we figured out <laughs> we literally just do this. The thing that the direction that Rhino had been talking about that we never actually did our original plan for the order for. I blame Yash. I absolutely accept all blame. Anyway, what's a beat to the bizarre there? She's usual, I'm Max. I'm Rhino. And we're gonna get this finished real uh, taken care of. I will say there are some puzzles that we might actually still still struggle on just because even if we've already done it, we might not remember the solution. It has, has been a couple days. I think we'll be fine. Yeah. Now I did make sure I completed absolutely everything up to up to the point that we stopped at, so we don't we don't have to go back and do anything else. Uh, yeah, this is actually a new file because there is only a single save slot for this game. Yeah, but it's not one of those ones where anything between files could really be different besides the order you do stuff in. So, and yeah, for this you just have to hit these things in the right order that's given in the diagram, and then it turns the fountain on. Well, I'll be, you done did it. You done fixed the water fountain. Froggy. I don't know how you did it, miss, but I sure owe you a mighty big thank you. You saved me from a whole mess of trouble. Please, take this as a sign of my gratitude. You rightly earned it, I reckon. Plumbing badge. I should be getting back to the hut real soon. Tad don't take too kindly to be being gone for too long. Y'all come visit anytime. Tess is a whole lot nicer with company over. Alright. Uh, there's actually a... There's also a quick detail that I kind of want to go show real quick. Because I learned about it in between. Alright. We need to get to Tad's house. I forget where he lives. I think it's up here. Yeah. If Gil's back here... Sometimes it hurts people I have to go number two. Uh, all those are the mess. I guess he's not going to say it. Okay. Basically, there's a line of dialogue where you get back. He's like, thanks for helping me out back there. <laughs> Tad was so angry, so happy, he only hit me a little bit. Uh. Yeah. All right, so we have all these, so let's go see E-Mark real quick. I thought we had to go see the Rose Lady because we cut off like halfway through the dice puzzle. Yep. <laughs> Good thing I accidentally hit save and not warp. Yeah, so basically after, after you get uh, the number of badges required, or in our case, get all of them. I go back. Somebody orders some motherfucking life badges? Beautiful. I knew you could do it. I see my faith was well placed. Damn straight. With these badges, I should have enough sauce to warp you to the source of my seal. Are you ready to go? And we basically have a final boss puzzle to do. Okay then, stand right in front of me and don't move. Well, a boss puzzle to do. And this one was math with dice. Rhino, do you think you're going to remember the solution last time? Because I will go on record and say that the solution last time was all Rhino. I just kind of bumbled around and did what he said. I think I basically remember. Okay. I know how we start, at least. Yeah, I'm just going to show it off real quick for the viewers. So basically, uh... Use the bottom middle is where the starting point is, and following that li uh, line, it has to add up to the number specified. So, from bottom to the top of the middle, it has to add up to two, etc. And there's pluses and minuses on the ground. All right, let's do this. All right, so start off by changing that one to four. 
All right. Now change the next one to two and the one above that to two. For those of you curious, I'm not following a guide. I just did this in my head in the middle of other technical difficulties when that happened. Yeah, give, gotta give Rhino credit. He, the, the, his internet cut out, and so he basically solved this puzzle without even looking at it. <laughs> yep. All right, so the next one has to add up to six, it was? Uh, yeah. The one that basically is like a reverse question mark. Okay, so let's see. So we need to have a net gain of four. So I believe we'll just do minus one and then change the one in the upper left to five. And that should give us what we need. I can check my math on that. Uh, let's see. Four minus two, so it's two, becomes one, pl plus five, plus two, so no. Okay, change it to three then, I think. Yeah. All right. Okay, so that's all good. The next one has to add up to four. So right? Six. So we need a net gain of negative two on this one. So, uh, let's see. Change the pl uh, change the one you're near to one. And then I think we'll change this one to three. Did I do it? Let me... Uh, hang on. Uh, so five, two, zero, negative one, which... Okay, four, five, two, zero, negative one, two, f four. Th right, we decided it doesn't like negatives. Right, uh, hmm. Okay, so we need to go a little bit higher, so uh, change that one you're on to two and the one above it to four, and that should be fine. Hmm? Six, two, zero, oh, hang on. Let me, uh, one, oh, I think one more, maybe. Or not. Hmm. Seven minus five is two. Okay, yeah, we're still going negative. Where are we missing here? So we need a net gain of negative two. I think what we did last time, the it was fine to have a negative. Okay, so... Uh, go to the top for me, please. The very top? Yeah, just so I can see the... Okay, so two, six, and four. All right, go back down. So, let's see. So, we need to come at it with two less than we would have here, so we need to... Yeah, yeah try changing the one above this to three again? I'm, I'm trying to figure out what the issue was. All right, so... Let's see, four, five... Two. Hey. Zero, negative one, positive two, positive four. That should do it. Is it. Do I have to press a button to activate it? No. Okay, is there a way to avoid going negative? Let's see. Uh... Not particularly, because we have to approach it. Oh, hmm? I have an idea. Oh, uh, I think I, re oh. I realized the problem. <laughs> What'd you do? Uh, this middle one adds up to four. <laughs> it's four minus oh. two plus two. Hang on. We make it one and then we ha adjust the others accordingly. <laughs> I just noticed. We, were dumb. <laughs> we thought the problem was in the completely wrong spot. Okay, uh, four... Three, one. Okay. Five and six. So, four, five, two, one. Negative one. Positive three. Okay. Three, one, five, six. So oh, God damn it! What'd you do this? I forgot to change the four to two so that it would actually add up properly. <laughs> and now you have to go through it all again? Sort of. Hang on. I, I mostly just need to adjust to keep, uh, to, like, so, so that it's like, okay, so-and-so is gone or whatever. 
I feel like we may have even gotten through this smoother the first time. Mm, it didn't take as long this time around, I'll say that for sure. Okay, so two, five, two, one, negative one, positive three. Positive five plus one, okay, and two, one, negative one. Yeah, I was wondering why you changed that one in the upper left. I thought it would be simple. Th this is why you were the one who solved it last time, Rhino! <laughs> yeah, but I can't keep the numbers straight because you keep moving and I can't see all of them at once. Here. <laughs> Figure it out. Okay. So Help me. <laughs> that one's right. Okay, so two, five, one. I, I I think we're 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 the problem is we're sitting here, um, going into. The Sorry, I think I just remember that last time. I think we had two minus two plus two, is how we did it. Uh, five, two, one. Three, one, negative one. So I need to be one. I'm gonna tell you right now that's not gonna work because the two that we're adjusting in the lower right need to have a net a net loss of two. Whereas the ones we're adjusting in the upper right need to have a net gain of four. That's a net loss of two. Yeah. And net gain of four up here, so... Uh, Adjust the upper one to six. Why were you stuck there, Ramey? <laughs> We did it! Okay! <laughs> I was letting you go for a bit, but then I was like, okay, he's doing this yeah, wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Math is hard! <laughs> Give me a Sudoku and I'll blaze right through it. Give me this shit and I'll just stare at it. Drool coming from my mouth. <laughs> All right, with that stupidity dealt with, here we are back at the Citadel. Things are good. Thank you, Ramey. The seal on my realm has been lifted, and I am once again able to return to the Citadel. No sweat! Please, take this as a token of my appreciation. You've certainly earned it. We got the badge of life! Great job, Scout. Thanks to you, my suspicions have been confirmed. It is indeed possible to break the seals. The ceremony cannot be performed with only two founders present. Please, Remay, help the remaining two spirals return to the Citadel. I think last time we, we like, took bets between us on what we thought the ceremony was. You said one big thumbs up and I said an orgy. Yep, that is what happened. Not the orgy, but the... But the sitting here uh, debating as to what it could be. I'm loving the enthusiasm of Scout, but you're jumping the gun just a bit. Come down here so I can tell you about stuff first. Uh, what did we forget? No, it's just because we have to actually talk to him so that he can tell us we can actually go first. Oh, good, you're here. I've got wonderful news. I'll be the judge of whether or not it's wonderful. Because you've earned at least three total badges, you now have enough spiral sauce to access the realm of death.
I don't know if I'd call that wonderful. Right? Sure. Maybe even excellent, but wonderful? This realm is home to the founder known as Soul, the Spiral of Death. Find him and do whatever you can to help break his seal. Don't worry, Emok. I'll break that seal like it's the neck of a small animal. I'm gonna go I... ahead and uh, get out my notebook, because I know we're gonna need that for at least one thing. Yeah. There was one puzzle that we were struggling with for a bit. I'm probably gonna head for that immediately and just get it done. What one were we struggling with? Uh, the urns. It was less oh, that we were struggling with it and more that we it kept leaving and coming back to it and being like, ugh. And then we figured it out. Well, I figured it out because I was writing it down. Yeah. Alright, uh... I'm not going to bother... I'll, I'll read this stuff because, like, for the viewers. Alright, we're Jumble, alright? The hideout. Ain't nobody getting in here without the password, see? Ah, yes, the Mafia skeletons. You. <laughs> Greetings, fellow girl. Sure is neat being a perfectly adorable girl out... Bleh. No normal girl like the two of us definitely are, huh? Yeah, it's pretty sweet, but why'd you say it all suspicious like that? Suspicious? No, no, nothing suspicious here. Just two regular girls chatting it up in a graveyard. Say, how's about we go off and play in the woods together? Just the two of us. Nobody else around. Hmm, I don't know. Why are you floating? It's weird. Floating? No, no. I'm barely floating at all. Like, six inches, tops. That was you. Help, help me, please, even though it's the same character. I possess a demon to cover my body! <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry about that. That is my Tourette's syndrome acting up. Now about those woods. Psst, the jig is up, bud. Mado fucks with no demons. Alright, alright, fine, you got me. I'm a demon now, okay? Happy now? Please don't exercise me. This is my first possession ever, and if I lose this one, I'll be the laughing stock of the underworld. Laughing stock, you say? Definitely getting you the hell out of there. All right. Hi, Dan. Eh? I wasn't doing nothing, and you can't prove I wasn't. It's probably for the best that you forget this encounter ever happened, capiche? Well, we can go do the skeleton now if we want. Yeah, but first let's just do the urns real quick. All right. All right. So basically, all these have names on them, and the pattern is that Theodore Bevins, Marcus Cook, Edward Adams, so on and so forth. It's B C A, B C A, B C A, B. Uh, we now have to do C A and B. It took us a while to do this, and it was only once I wrote it down the second time, I'm like, oh. <laughs> yeah, so sorry for rushing for a bit. It's because we've done... We've done... A large amount of the stuff in this realm, but we haven't done anything past this realm, and we haven't done all the stuff in this realm either. This I still don't get. I'm hoping maybe we'll find stuff we didn't see before. Not every puzzle has a single solution. Yeah, this I still don't get. Yeah, we haven't really seen a way to apply it either. I still think it's just like a secondary way to solve that puzzle, and it's like, hey, you could do that with you could have done it this way instead, but I don't really see it. Wait a minute. Do you think if we solve it a different way, something else happens? I'm actually... I. Hmm. We'll come back to it once we're done everything we've already done. Well, write, write this down first so that we have it, please. Uh, okay. Okay. Alright. Hmm. 
You feel free to look at. Curious about this. You feel free to look that over. I probably have to have you cross-reference the actual urns again. All right. Hey, it's it's soul. Welcome to the realm of ghosts and ghouls. Oh, sweet! You have ghouls here? Well, technically no. We're still working on ghouls, but I'm pretty sure we have a couple ghosts. Oh, well, ghosts are cool too. Not as sweet as ghouls, but still nice. I understand that you're here to try and break the seal that has been imposed on this realm. Yeah, how'd you know? I am Soul, a spiral death. I've received word of what you are attempting to do from Emok. It won't be easy. Lifting the seal on my realm could be possible if you're able to earn at least five death badges. That should give me enough sauce to get you close enough to the source of the seal. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's earn some of those badges. I shall open the gate for you, but be warned, Scout. What lies beyond that is a place of grave danger. Uh, how dangerous are we talking? No, no, grave danger. Be careful around graves. I'm saying I'd hate to see you trip and scrape your knee. He's a wholesome There's no guy. combat in this game. <laughs> He's a wholesome guy. First, I'm breaking into his little house. Because this has been, uh, we discovered last time with crystal orbs are basically this game's equivalent, or this realm's equivalent of the sugar. Now we need a lot. We don't think we found all of them. No, I don't believe we did. Uh, Alright, I'm just gonna... Basically that skeleton... Uh, I'm, I'm tr I don't want to zip through things too much. Take it from me, kid. There ain't nothing buried underneath these simple little gravestones. I've been trying to dig them up all night. I really ought to rethink my graves robbing strategy. Here lies Spartina, the wisest of the three fortune teller sisters. If you want a grave rob, you rob from the bigger graves! The Bronze Bull. Here lies the Bronze Bull, the best spiral scout of all time. Let's be sure to go to the left and right to get those extra crystal orbs, too. Yep. The Silver Fox. Here lies the Silver Fox, the worst Spiral Scout of all time. Yeah, let's go this way first. The Archive. Library of Knowledge Constructive Garner of the Silly Six, the Great Pioneers of Alchemy. Here lies Grossina, the least attractive of the three fortune teller sisters. And just while we're here, let's check out in here. I, I believe this was also you. Oh, hello there. I didn't realize you were having company. Are you one of Taki's friends? Sure. I see. Well, I'm afraid he's not home at the moment. In fact, he's been gone for quite a while now. To be honest, I'm rather worried about him. He probably should be. There's all kind of skeletons and ghosts and shit out there. He's been acting very strange lately. He spends an awful lot of time in the attic above my husband's laboratory. If you can find him, can you ask him to come home? Tell him his mother is worried sick about him. I'll keep an eye out for him. Thank you. If you need anything from me, I'll be in my bedroom tidying up. Meaning upstate my mind about the fact that my son is missing, that my husband doesn't seem to care or notice, and that I live in a graveyard. Cool. See ya. Did we ever actually find anything in the bedroom? Uh... Oh, there's a crystal ball. Bam. 
I have, we missing. I have a feeling we missed that last time. <laughs> we did. Alright, that'll help us get one thing we need. We still don't know what we need for the exorcism. We'll get to that later, though. Because we're, like, pretty far away from that spot. There, that ought to do it. A fully functional sound wave alchemy machine. And Alma said it couldn't be done. That you couldn't mix science and technology with alchemy. Ha! Now, who's the neglectful parent? We could probably go ahead and do the, um... Do the, uh, alchemy lab puzzle while we're here. Well, we don't have the other thing we need. Whoa, who are you? Did I transmute you? Maybe. By God, I'm even better than I thought! I mean, I can't say for certain that you didn't. Can anybody say anything for certain? Maybe I transmuted you. Whoa. Deep. Really makes you think. I wasn't referring to this, I was referring to what he asked us to go do. Alright. Hey, wanna check out this wacko crazy machine I just built? Why not? I've got a minute. What is it? Some kind of alchemy machine? Precisely. Not just any old alchemy machine. This baby utilizes the energy of sound waves for automated transmutations. Sound waves? How's that work? It's all very, very complicated. Really boring science-y stuff with all kinds of test tubes and beacons. Just take my word for it. What exactly made you want to build this thing in the first place? Ah, well, the same reason any alchemist does anything. To discover the secret of the spiral stone, of course. The spiral stone, huh? Oh yes, according to the old text, the spiral stone contains the power to transport the user to another realm. Alchemists have been after its power since ancient times, but it remains a mystery to this day. Those guys were dumb though, unlike me, who is smart. You see, through years of research, I've been able to isolate the appropriate sound pattern needed to transmute a spiral stone. I've written down my findings in the journal just over there, so the world will know that I found it first. But alas, the sound pattern alone is not enough. The ingredients needed to transmute a stone remain undiscovered. It's been said that the Silly Six, the greatest alchemists of all time, had discovered the ingredients. But I've poured through every book in the archive a thousand times and have yet to find even the slightest mention of it. No mention at all, huh? Let me take a stab at it. I'll be a child in the archive? Yeah, alright, sure, I don't see any problem with that. I'll remove the lock of the door so you can access the archive for yourself. It's just south of my house along the path. Ha! Imagine, some random ass kid discovering the secret of the spiral stone. As if. Alright, and we're gonna go do that in the next episode. Are you still there, Rhino? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> in the next episode, we will go figure out the secret of the spiral stone of the Silly Six. I'm Max. I'm Rhino. And we have four crystal balls. Whoosh! Boom, boom.